hot wires here. I can turn it off here so this wire is not hot. Then I can pull that off and send it in for servicing. So a car has hit that pole and severed the line. Okay. How do you safely work? Well, the uh, module is going to be laying there hot, just like about any other power pole that's knocked to the ground. Although, boy, I'd much rather handle a couple of those wires than any other two hot wires off a power pole. Because they're DC? No, because they're a lot lower voltage than that. Uh, yeah, it's a lot low, and, and also, it's a, remember, re, the most wonderful thing about solar is it's a current limited device. There is just so much current that it's capable of producing. Unlike the grid, you know, man, I've got Grand Coulee Dam behind those two wires. You know, I can create plasma with those two wires. See again what that box is underneath? This is just an electrical junction box. Oh, okay. It's just there to make a band. Or to make a turn. It makes it easy to pull the wire. The batteries here or not? No batteries. Those vents? Uh, what? Black thing? Yeah, those are vents. Yeah, these are Sunny Boys, remember. And the only Sunny Boy that uses batteries is about twice as big as this, and it's yellow. And the thermostat wire, is that for monitoring? No, this is not a thermostat wire. Yeah, but it is for monitoring. Okay. Yeah, this, this is a um, communication cable. Mike, you can use uh, like the tilt-up poles for like the uh, windmills. You can use like those for that, the tilt-up poles. Uh, I would not use a utility pole for a windmill. No, I mean for the easier. You could use one of those rotor. Sure. Tilt-up poles. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely want an engine. If you're using a tip-up pole of some kind, you definitely want an engineer. Uh, these things, utility poles, are have been the engineering has been pretty well cooked out on. Them. We understand wind loading on power poles pretty well. Uh, so let's go. Next destination is.